order of science fiction tology. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brother Indy, better known as Young Indy NTO, bringing you some For Honor beta gameplay. Uh, don't mind me, because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just starting off, just decided to jump right into it, bring y'all some better gameplay after I learned the control and stuff like that, but I wanted y'all to just get some visuals of, so far, uh, how it looks and kind of what the game is about. Right now, I feel like it's like a Dynasty Warriors type thing. I'm just hacking and slashing, hacking and slashing. And I hope I'm supposed to be killing the dudes with the orange shields, but I don't know. A new mission objective, reach zone C. Where the hell is zone C? Stop hitting me. You die, and you die because you hit me, and you die, and you die too. And look, look, you die. Oh, you hit me. You got to die, die, die. Okay? It's like two alternating punch buttons. It's like, like punching or light swinging, heavy swing, and... These guys are little puny, uh, what are they called? They're like, them things really used to send. Putties. They're just putties getting sliced and diced, and they don't understand I'm the Green Ranger with my dragon sword. hi ya! But whatever, where the fuck is Zone C at? Uh, go back here. Uh, is it this? Let me see. Oh, okay, maybe it's here. Hold the line, you idiots, hold the- Well, maybe not. Uh, ooh, slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slicey and dicey. I mean, this is fun. I mean, who doesn't like just mutilating groups of people? And this is crazy. It's like it's all happening during... Oop, didn't want to pan the camera up there. All happening during online play. Still trying to learn these buttons, guys. This is why you do the tutorial. Um. Yeah. It's like Hacker Slash. Really Dynasty Warriors-ish type here, but... It's like, these guys, I think, are all... Uh, CPUs, and then like when you actually get to like a Captain or General or something, it's somebody else uh, playing it online or something. I don't know. I'll bring y'all like more details on it. Hold on. Okay. Got to change my batteries and my controller. Controller keeps dying. Run, you puny hue. Oh, okay. Oh, but just teleported. Not too bad. Um, the controller is kind of, it's really weird to get used to because you're almost having to like, um, hold down the left trigger and then you're hitting the right uh, right trigger or RB depending on if you want to do light or uh, heavy punch. And this right here, like I'm saying, I got to time my dodge. So I got to uh, hold down the left trigger, uh, pick the direction I want to dodge to, and then hit A. And yeah, like that. That's how I do it. Or like that. That didn't work. Okay, that didn't work either. Oh, hold on. Let me try holding that. Okay, hold down the L left trigger. And he hits me. And he, I hit him. What am I doing wrong? Okay, he died. That's weird. Am I not doing this right? Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, let's try this again. Okay. Um... Like that? Oh, okay, I see how it is. It's just a step to the right. It's not the row. Okay. That's cool. Now die! Really cool. Oh, no, I'm digging this. I'm thinking I want to see more like the, uh, multi the multiplayer aspect first. Alright, now I'm going to jump straight into the multiplayer. Didn't really do any more of the tutorial, so... I'm probably going to be really, really bad at this, guys. <laughs> but, um... Like them, the style of the game. I mean, it's really beautiful. Um, it's almost like a, when I went online, it went through this whole thing telling me about how the online went. I picked my faction. I picked Samurai. It shows me how like everything you do in the game um, kind of works for your faction taking over the map. So it's almost kind of like how the faction things work in Mortal Kombat, in my opinion. Oh, how, oh, ouch. Ouch. How it went. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. That sucked. Uh, how that went. So, that's kind of cool. And then they got like deathmatch, uh, domination, where you take over the points. They got like different things you could do online. Plus, they got a campaign story mode with it. So, it seems like it's a lot of replay replayability in this game. And there's really a lot to do. So, I like that. Um, 
this is like a best out of five uh death match um i think it's four on four and that ow that mace swings really quick and i should have kept the guy with the sword because this is really hard oh come on I was finna kill him. I was finna kill him. Oh crap. Now it's pop. Why did his health go all the way back up? What the hell was that? Oh, uh, whatever. That's stupid. And that was a bot, too. What happened to the player? Did he drop out? Okay. And keep sitting here. You hold B to stay dead, or you wait until somebody revives you, which I think is cool is that you're never dead until the last person dies. They can always come up and revive you. That's one of the really cool aspects of this game, I believe. Because you always had the chance to turn the tide to be like two on one or three on one. Hit the person, get back and revive everybody. So that's that's a real cool concept. Okay, we can't jump over this. I'm just going to follow you. Where are we going? Stop running so fast. Where are we going? And why do you all... They always take everything. They leave nothing for me. I think that was like extra sh defense or something. Like I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Okay. One, two. All right. Squad up. Oh, it's morphin' time. Get him, guys. Look at that. Ain't no way in the world he can deal with four and three. The Warriors three win again. All right. But uh, there's more of them over here, guys. Let's go get him. hi -ya! Ooh. Ouch. Huh? Oh, oh, block, block, block. I still can't get a hang of they lock on how you got to tap L real fast lock on to somebody else. I wish it was just more of if I was holding L, I could hit the uh, one of the analogs to switch over to another person. But they got the right analog tied towards blocking when you're holding L and then the left analog towards movement. I just wish I I wish it was an easier way to, um, you know, what I'm saying uh, switch it between who you were locked on to because that's little weird for my fingers i'm probably gonna end up switching that to right trigger and then uh putting the the attacks on the face buttons because that's just weird oh yeah this is bad i let him get way too close when i need the range and once he's up close it's nothing i know how to do yet but i'm really gonna practice at this because i'm really enjoying this game so far Ouch, ouch. I keep getting killed by bots. Like, not even a real person. It's really starting to make me feel really, really bad. <laughs> but no, guys. Um, game's pretty cool. I'm a, uh, like I said, I'm going to practice this a little bit. And it's my first time just jumping into the game. All I did was go through the little basic tutorial. I didn't go through all the two aspects. And I hopped straight into an online match just to see what it was like. And... Yeah, I can dig it. It's like Bushido Blade, Dynasty Warriors, and like, I guess Risk or something like mixed all together with like, uh, it has a little bit of everything for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what you want to play. Controls are not the easiest to get a hold of, but I'm pretty sure once you get used to them, um, everything will be natural. So, oh, revive me. All right, let's go. I thought like we were done. And I'm going to die because I thought that guy was on my team. Damn. Don't even revive me. Just leave me dead. Alright, guys. Order Scientology, man. Follow us.